Hey everyone, today we are unboxing and reviewing a truly revolutionary smart ring, the Circle Gen 2 ring. This is the second generation version with a more flexible design and upgraded sensors. It's built for serious health tracking with features like continuous heart rate and medical grade blood oxygen monitoring. Let's unbox it, get some first impressions and see how it fits into everyday life. Inside the box, the first thing you'll notice is the charging case. It's small, lightweight, and easy to toss in a bag or even your pocket, which makes it super portable. Opening up the charging case, you're greeted with the ring sitting neatly inside. This one's the matte navy finish in size M+. It is really lightweight and has a soft matte texture that feels pretty refined. The color is subtle but sharp and not flashy. So taking a closer look at the ring itself, the design is actually pretty different from what you'd expect. It's got this open, flexible shape instead of being a full circle. You can see the sensors neatly built into the little platform at the bottom. That's the part that sits against the side of your finger to get the readings. On the opposite side, you've got the charging points. And if your fingers tend to swell, this kind of design helps a lot. This is the world's first elastic smart ring and it adjusts with your finger throughout the day. Up to 3 mm of flexibility, that means no more tight mornings or loose fits after a workout. Alright, putting the ring back in the case, it just drops in pretty easily. The part with the sensors faces up and the charging points sit right at the bottom. Let's take a look at what else comes in the box. Inside the box, there's the usual user manual and a quick start guide to help you get started. There's also a USB-C charging cable in the box. Nothing fancy, but it's nice that it uses USB-C like pretty much everything else these days. All right, jumping into the Circle Ring app, this is where you'll find all your health stats laid out pretty clearly. Starting off on the main dashboard, you get a quick snapshot of your vitals right up front. It shows heart rate, SPO, sleep, and a couple of other metrics all in one view. Now onto sleep. It breaks your night down into deep, light, and awake stages with a sleep score at the top. It's helpful for understanding not just how long you slept, but how well you slept. You can even go deeper into each night's data, like seeing how your blood oxygen fluctuated while you slept, or your heart rate trends through different stages. Now heading into the activity tracking section, this screen gives you a breakdown of your daily movement, calories burned, and steps taken. At the top, you've got a ring style progress tracker showing how close you are to your daily goal, which is nice for a quick glance. Right below, it tracks calories burned and active minutes throughout the day. There's also a step counter and distance walked, and you can scroll through previous days to see how your activity trends are looking over time. Scrolling down a bit, you'll also see logged workout sessions. These show up automatically when the RIN detects a period of sustained activity. So that's how it handles day-to-day -day activity tracking, but I also wanted to see how it holds up when you're on the move. I brought the circle ring with me on a recent trip to compare it against a smartwatch and the ring con Gen 2 in a more real-world setting. The circle ring is way easier to travel with than a smartwatch. No bulky charger, no need to take it off at night or during workouts, and because of the flexible design, it adjusts throughout the day. In terms of battery, circle ring lasted me about 3-4 days before I needed to top it up. The charging case is small and USB-C, so I just kept it in my bag. Rincon goes a little longer on a single charge, but honestly, the convenience of Circle's fit kind of made up for that. And compared to my smartwatch, Circle was noticeably more consistent in terms of health tracking and accuracy, especially overnight and during long periods of sitting. So if you're trying to stay on top of your health while traveling, especially things like sleep, heart rate, or blood oxygen, Circle Gen 2 holds its own really well. It's lighter than a watch, fits more comfortably than Rincon, and gives you real-time data that's genuinely useful on the go. 